Recently, I asked my subscribers if they'd like to see what I got for Christmas this year. As you can see, the vast majority of those who voted were in favour. So here is my plastic model kit gift haul for 2018. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. I know it will seem like a lot of kits by the end of this video, so before I start, I'd just like to mention that I recently had a birthday too. So I've added those kits into this video as well. Partly because I wanted to share them with you, and partly because I couldn't remember which ones I got on each day. Anyways, in no particular order, first up is a 1 to 2000 scale New Jersey model ship from the works. This was one of my stocking fillers, and it adds another ship to my stash. Next, in the same scale from the same manufacturer, is the USS Missouri. Again, another stocking filler. And I'm looking forward to building these two ships and putting them next to the HMS hood I previously built. I also got a P-51D Mustang in Red Tail's colour scheme, and it comes with paints and brushes included. I've already built one of these kits, and you can look forward to that in the new year, so perhaps I'll get some different decals for this one and build it to represent a different Mustang. Next is a Churchill Mark 7 tank, which is part of the Vintage Classics range from Airfix. This looks like a pretty cool kit, and I'm looking forward to building it, as I haven't got much in the way of armour or vehicles in my collection at the moment. The Churchill is followed by this Airfix BF109E3 gift set. This is the same kit that I reviewed right at the beginning of my channel, but did not feature in a build video, so that's something I'd be interested in doing with this one. Up next is this Airfix Sherman tank. Again, I'm glad to have received this, as it adds another tank to my collection. I've heard mixed things about this kit, so it'd be a good experience to have a go and see what it's really like. I also received an Airfix Mary Rose model ship gift set in 1 to 400 scale. Again, this is a pretty interesting model to add to my stash, as I've not built many ships up to now. To go with the Mary Rose, I was given an Airfix gift set featuring the Cutty Sark. Again, another model I'm keen to have a go at and add another ship to my collection. Now for a subject I quite like, but don't feature very often. A sci-fi model featuring the ARC-170 Starfighter from Star Wars. One of my favourite sci-fi ships, so pretty keen to make a start on this one. To go with the ARC-170 is Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, as featured in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Again, I'm really excited to make a start on this model, I just need to make sure I've got the right colour paints. Up next, something that will please those Model Railway fans out there. A 00 gauge model of Stevenson's rocket from Dapol. Despite being an old kit, I've never built this one before, and I'm looking forward to having a go and seeing how it turns out. Staying on the railway theme, and something that was a bit of a surprise, is this 00 gauge dockside crane. I can't say I've ever really built something like this, so I think that it might put my modelling skills to the test and present a bit of a challenge. Another Airfix kit joins the stash. This time, it's a Folland Nat T1 in 172nd scale. I'm pretty sure this is the new tool kit from Airfix, so it should turn out really well. Up next is this Airfix Jeep gift set featuring all the correct paints. Again, another great kit to add to my vehicle collection, and it will certainly be an interesting build to add to the channel. A second Airfix Nat joins the list, but this time it's the Yellow Jack gift set. It will be good to compare the build and finish of this with the one I received earlier. Next up is a big gift, the Airfix RF100 Centenary gift set, featuring a sop with Camel, Spitfire and Typhoon. It also comes with a good selection of acrylic paints, so it would probably make a good starter kit. I've already built and featured the Spitfire and Typhoon on my channel, but perhaps I'll find some different decals and paint schemes for these kits. Or maybe I'll do something completely different with them. Any suggestions, pop them in the comments below. The penultimate kit is this slightly older Airfix Seahawk starter set. I've not seen these for quite a while now, and missed out on getting one when they were in production, so I'm very fortunate to have been gifted one this year. Finally, this Ravel Twin Otter rounds off the haul this year. 
This model was not strictly a gift, but I did receive a discount voucher for Hobbycraft, so put that towards this as a present to myself. I bought this one as it has a different paint scheme to the models I normally build, and features a slightly different subject from the single-engined military aircraft that make up the majority of my stash. And that's everything I got for Christmas and birthday this year. I know I'll certainly not have to buy any more kits for a considerable time now, as this lot will keep me very busy. Let me know in the comments below which kit is your favourite, and any suggestions you might have for building them. I'm also interested to know what you guys got this year. All that's left to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the new year. Subscribe and click that notification button in order to see more content and help support the channel in 2019. Feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Don't forget that you can connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.